Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm Karen. Today's reading is what they dying to tell you. What do they really want you to know? Please take a moment to hit the like button and the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And that way you'll be notified every time I release a new reading. So there's four sets of cards for you to choose from. Set of cards number one is the I feel nervous around you card. Set of cards number two is the Sacred Union card. Set of cards number three is the I Won't Ever Give Up On Us card. And set of cards number four is the Missing You card. So take some time to tune into the energies of these. See which one resonates with you the most. It's fine to be drawn to more than one of these as well. You can pause the video right now if you need to. And then we'll get straight into the reading. Welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen the I feel nervous around you card. So this is what's your person dying to tell you? What do they really want you to know right now? If you'd like to know even more in depth how your person is truly feeling about you, please check out the Dear Beloved Love Letter Readings. Those are about a thousand words in length. They're $11, 11 cents. That's US dollars. They look really deeply into your person's true feelings for you right now, what they want to say to you and what they want to happen between you both. So the details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So what is your person dying to tell you? What do they really need you to know right now? We have the Knight of Cups. The Moon. The Seven of Cups. The Devil. And the King of Cups. I really feel as though the love within your connection has like multiplied. It's like super intense at the moment, okay? Your person is feeling this intense love, intense passion for you as well. Um, they really want you to know that they love you so deeply. With this Knight of Cups, this is them feeling deep romantic feelings. They feel that there's this powerful soul bond that's leading you both into your highest good, okay? They definitely know there's um, a powerful reason um, behind your connection to really come back to the true self, experience true reality, true love. Um, I feel like there's some fears as well. The moon is traditionally about fears, but it's about depth as well. The depth of these emotions. Seven of Cups. This is um, them connecting with you in the high realms, connecting with you energetically. This is also a feeling of your connection, feeling ungrounded. It's like your person, they want to rise up to like meet you. They want to... Um, there's a very like a dreamy sort of quality with this moon image here and Seven of Cups. But they feel all this insane passion, okay? The devil. Um, the devil. These fears, this darkness, this shadow. It's them experiencing intense shadow right now as well. There's this intense shadow, fears, wounds, uh, blocks. But specifically I'm feeling like fear. I feel like it may be scaring them, like how much they feel like this oneness, this passion, this union. Because this is a powerful love that is creating a lot of shifts, okay? And our false self, like the ego, is extremely like frightened by that as well. 
the, I feel like there's some sort of sadness, maybe heartbreak as well, but they, their feelings are so deep, especially with this King of Cups as well. This person is like, they're experiencing this love, like multiplied at this time. So let's look at some messages from the heart cards. obstacles yeah i feel like it says karma soul contracts things to learn need more healing complications divine timing more awakening needed and obstacles it sh shows the person tripping up i feel as though whatever this these obstacles are or whatever karma um they are experiencing it's making them feel down or i'm just feeling the intensity of these emotions of that shadow side but also like the, the intense love like at the same time like everything seems to have been um increased like exponentially we have man cave i feel like there's a sense of loneliness within your person like they may be feeling lonely in their day to day life this is them Kind of shutting out the outside world, going inwards, diving deep, connecting with you energetically, telepathically, and with spirit and the divine. This is a powerful connection of ascension, taking alone time, problem solving, depression, isolation, hermit, sadness, wounds, and shadow work. Missed opportunity. This person, it's like, I feel like there's a part of you both that just really desires, like, this reunion, this oneness. But there's definitely, like, subconscious fears as well. Like, some of the obstacle is, like, walls around yourselves and masks because the moon card it normally shows two towers so that's the thick walls around you both this is like the subconscious um wounds or conditioning that's healing but missed opportunity it says regret taken for granted didn't act kicking themselves couldn't see clearly harsh lessons so yeah they feel like they they've missed out um, I feel this is eating away at them. Mask. So yeah, hiding, putting on a front, trying to impress you. Uh, insecurities, insincere, um, self-protection. Yeah. So this is one of the walls, um, one of the obstacles, the mask. The false self. This person, they feel like they can be their true self with you. It's very intense connection. So it does bring up fears as well. Like they've never been seen or like understood um, in, in this level of depth before. Um, like they feel an experience with you. And they love that. But it just, it's bringing up like intense um shadow to be healed and it is healing what they dying to tell you so they feel like they were um unconscious or asleep or they couldn't see something clearly in the past but now they are seeing it and that's why there's this kicking themselves kind of energy i feel they were stuck in illusion, they were fearful, they were in the overactive mind, It was. they felt stressed, blinded, they were unaware, asleep, social matrix, conformity and amnesia. But now it's like your person, they want you to know they are, they are awakening to something they couldn't see clearly before. They're going inwards in that man cave, um, seeking answers, intuition is coming through. Um, this they can be overthinking, but revelations are coming through, awakening, discovering, unearthing, and profound shifts. Your person wants you to know that they are missing you 
so much. This powerful telepathic communication between you both. If there's a 3D separation, you're feeling like in truth that there's no such thing as separation because energetically you're always together as one. You really feel that there's pure communication, a lot of mind reading and intimacy. This person feels very, very close and intimate with you on like their true self kind of level, the soul level, reading each other's feelings and intense. We have soul journey. So I feel like your soul journey with each other is all about this mask kind of energy. It's all about feeling safe to be your true selves. Um, this person feels like they can be more of their true self with you. They have a fear of like losing that. Um, it says ascension, awakening, going back home, journey of the heart, intuition, enlightenment, exploration, growth, feeling called. So this is that powerful magnetism. It's like a depth of this connection has opened up even more, like the depths of their happiness. You make them feel so happy, so joyous. They feel this euphoria, success, harmony, high vibration, confidence, fulfillment, satisfaction that emanate in this light. You provide them with so much optimism, excitement. It's very, very uplifting for your person. So let's look at some messages, cards, what they're dying to tell you. Here are the depths of my soul. So yeah, this is definitely a journey about learning how to open up, open your hearts. This person, they want you to see into the depths of their souls. They want to express this and be this. It's very liberating for them to feel like they can be their true self. How do you feel about me? You are with me always. So yeah, this how do you feel about me? This kind of questions or fears that you're thinking negatively or falling out of love can come up quite often within your person. But they feel you are always as one. You're always together in the higher realms. I love how you cherish me. This person really wants you to know that they love how supportive you are. They love it when you open your heart to them and be like, here are the depths of my soul. This person wants you to know that they love you for who you truly are. And I have so much fear right now. And the moon card came out as well. So I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to look into what is this fear. We're going to look into further what are they dying to tell you? What do they really want you to know? What do they need to get off their chest about their feelings and their experience right now? And we're just going to look into what's really going on with them and your connection. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So I really hope to see you over there. And if this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, share it and subscribe. That all really helps me out. Thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended. Welcome to set of cards number two. You've chosen the sacred union card. So this is what is your person dying to tell you? What do they really need you to know right now? If you'd like to know even more in depth how your person is truly feeling about you, please check out the Dear Beloved Love Letter readings. Those are about a thousand words in length. They're $11.11. 11 That's US dollars. They look really deeply into your person's true feelings for you right now, what they really want to say to you, and also what 
what they really want to happen between you both. So the details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So what is your person dying to tell you? What do they really need you to know right now? We have the Nine of Cups. The Two of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands. I'm noticing the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Four of Cups. Okay, <laughs> quite a few cards are wanting to come out here. Let's make two rows of them. So your person, there's a part of them that feels absolutely ecstatic because they know your soul family. They know you have this amazing connection with the divine as well, with your soul family. And you have this amazing connection with each other. There's so much growth. Um, this is like Jack in the Beanstalk. So it's rising up above. It will eventually rise up above the clouds. So it's all about that ascension. This feels like such a magical, such a deep profound connection they're feeling this love this oneness this bond exceptionally deep at this time and they feel this joy this celebration um they want you to know that they feel proud of you as well they they feel you should be like celebrated they're they're happy you know if you've gone through your own struggles or you, You've reached some sort of success or healing or, or something that they, they just want to like celebrate that with you and also they see you as like this hero energy they really praise you that they, they like really look up to you you bring them a lot of um, light and support and healing in really like intense ways and they really want you to know that um, they feel this immense love for you. I feel like it's erotic as well because this definitely looks like a phallic sort of imagery here. And we have uh, the devil here. There's this intense, like this insane passion. There's this insane depth of feeling so close with each other. Most of you or many of you that's like, on that energetic soul level it's like your soul's like entwined there's a lot of desire here but it's based on love okay with the ace of cups but yeah it's like this this twofold energy insane love passion joy and happiness like deep down but with all these thorns here and all the scrapes there's a lot of fears a lot of shadow uh coming up being triggered up okay it's creating a lot of anxiety within your person. This is your person feeling fearful. They're feeling overwhelmed. You know, this person's been attacked by these vampire bats. Uh, they're feeling overwhelmed by being confronted with this shadow. You know, however that's coming up. Your person's feeling a lot of disappointment, I feel. If there's a, a physical separation between you both. And uh, they're feeling a lot of disappointment or they're just feeling uh unfulfilled this is a card of boredom and discontent or feeling unfulfilled disappointed kind of energy feeling down you know all this rain here this is like sadness there's like the lightning here it could be like tower moments this is feeling left out in the cold. This is them feeling like there's some sort of separation. But they're, they're, there's this intense longing, okay? It's like you're thinking about each other from afar. Both of you, okay? Um, it's just a feeling of, like, polarity. Like, internally, there's this strong, like, desire. 
and magnetic attraction and like that soul path that's unfolding it makes you feel closer and closer to your true selves but there could be like a lot of opposition so to speak in the 3d so it's it's hard it's you know feeling like an intense sort of struggle to integrate all of this at this time for your person let's look at some messages from the heart cards what they're dying to tell you we have serendipity they know the universe brought you together they know that you're both sending out this love from afar this is like a telepathic energetic um, like you're both thinking about each other and you're both really feeling that it says chance meeting more than coincidence number patterns and signs fated destiny soul contract so i feel like there's a lot of synchronicity and serendipity they may be receiving a lot of signs or they're just feeling that intense soul calling right now what are they dying to tell you? That they feel this heartbreak. It says intense sadness, grieving, loss, separation, regrets, crying, mourning. <sighs> this feels like this energy is sort of ravaging your person at this time and creating intense fear at the same time as well. Like they really need in your support. And then really needing the support from the divine. I feel like the divine is cheering both of you on. <coughs> what they dying to tell you? Ghosting. Yeah, your person, they're just feeling a lot of intensity right now. So it's like they're going inwards. They're integrating a lot. This is running, avoiding, feeling overwhelmed. Difficult emotions are coming up, bottling up feelings, or they're feeling like very repressed when it comes to being able to express their truth. It's all sort of, um, all these energies, thoughts, feelings are sort of circulating a lot within them, but they're not really sure how to feel that way or... experience what they're going through what else are they dying to tell you tortoise so yeah they're going inwards a lot it says in their shell clammed up silent slow and steady withdrawn introverted they could be shy insecure but they're very wise this is a very deep person the tortoise again that's that energy of going inwards okay like i feel like this is definitely your person's sort of personality type uh, of going inwards um but yeah t t me speaking about things being sort of bottled up i will see this love potion with a cork on the top but they're feeling head over heels this is kind of like this energy here the love potion infatuation obsession falling in love hooked irresistible captivated it's all very like intense right now what are they really experiencing surrender let go let go on stepping out of the way trust faith flow peace allowing release and attachment receptive so your person i feel like they're trying to manage these feelings because a lot of pains coming up frustration or just intensity they're trying to like sit with it i feel and not let it get too much for them they're feeling very alienated right now though they feel lonely feeling misunderstood I feel like in their day to day life they're feeling uprooted from the 3D okay this connection it's like that judgment card your connections come in and it's taken them out of 
that old perception of reality and everything's like completely changed now. So it's lonely, not fitting in, caught between dimensions. So this is like their true self is really being born within them, okay? They're coming into their awareness very intensely of their true self. It's like they're understanding patterns in their life as well. They're coming into a lot of consciousness, but then at the same time, I feel like it's very, very challenging to express like this soul truth to the people around us. And that's what your person's going through. Soul self awakening. They feel closer to spirit. Euphoria. So yeah, there's this mixture of everything's just, you know, intensified. They feel euphoria. This is a transcendental experience. They feel bliss, unity, the infinite, heaven on earth, intense love, joy, nirvana, feeling deeply connected with you, a lot of electricity. So let's look at some messages, cards, what they're dying to tell you. I miss you so much. This is like that heartbreak feeling, that longing. You make me feel safe to open up. So you're both on this path of feeling safe or becoming more comfortable over time to open up to who you really are, allowing yourself to be seen. How do you feel about me? So some fears and anxieties come up surrounding that. I wake up feeling happy. Thank you for loving the real me. So you make them feel like they're not as lonely or alienated in this world. They, they know that you love them for their true self and they're so grateful, they're so happy about that. You make them feel a lot of happiness. So like supporting. So I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to look even deeper into what they dying to tell you about their feelings, about what's really going on with them. We're going to look into lots of messages cards to really see what they want to get off their chest. And um, yeah, just dive in so deep into what's really going on with your person. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So I really hope to see you over there. And if this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, share it and subscribe. That all really helps me out. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number three. You've chosen the I won't ever give up on us card. So this is what's your person dying to tell you? What do they really need you to know right now? If you'd like to know even more in depth how your person is truly feeling about you, please check out the Dear Beloved Love Letter Readings. Those are about a thousand words in length. They're $11, 11 cents. That's US dollars. They look really deeply into your person's true feelings for you right now, what they really want to say to you, and also what they really want to happen between you both. So the details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So how, what is your person dying to tell you? What do they really need you to know right now? The Ten of Wands. The Five of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. This person is carrying a lot of heaviness, a lot of heavy burdens right now with the Ten of Wands. Something's really weighing heavily on their shoulders to do with some sort of loss. I feel like they are missing you. 
I feel like a lot of things have changed within your person's perception of like reality, of themselves, of love since they've met you. A lot of awakening. So there's this energy of a lot of heaviness, like they're feeling heaviness in terms of then feeling what isn't serving them. But they're feeling like they still have to sort of carry that, that weight with them. There's some fears of releasing things, um, whatever this may be. It may be many things. Um, but that nonetheless, it's like things are being released. Five of Cups normally shows three cups where the contents have been spilled over. Um, Knight of Pentacles. This is your person building their foundation, okay? It's like they have a lot of fears of loss, a lot of tension happening, a lot of intensity. Um, but there's still this slowly but surely building of a firm foundation three of wands is like waiting for your ship to come in there's definitely something some sort of divine uh happenings <laughs> going on a, d a divine uh release like death and rebirth waiting for the ship to come in so there's this sense of your person waiting um a sense of divine timing. Let's look at these messages from the heart cards. What's really going on? We have twin flame. What are they dying to tell you? Obstacles. Butterfly. Regret. So they see you as twin flames. If they don't know that label, they see you as soulmates like you have this infinite soul bond they feel this union with you i feel like they they feel that oneness they feel the infinite they've been awakened to true love the true reality and yeah like i said it's making them more aware of the heaviness of things that aren't in alignment with that truth so karma, obstacles, other soul contracts, it says things to learn, need more healing, complications, divine timing, more awakening needed, um, intense soul lessons and triggering, this is what's really, really happening with your person right now, they're feeling some sort of regret, it says feeling bad, feeling foolish, wanting to turn back time, wanting to make amends, growth hmm. and they're feeling some sort of regret about obstacles but there's this butterfly energy like i said there's transformation there is a lot of healing coming in for your person freedom from blocks wisdom growth strength being more of their true self i feel like this is like the struggle this is they're feeling like they're juggling like their true self that's opening up to them but then the false self that they feel pressured to project out into the world like in their day-to-day -day life so what are they dying to tell you they're dying to tell you that they know that you're on this powerful twin flame soul journey to do with ascension, to do with transcending these obstacles. It says awakening, going back home, journey of the heart, intuition, enlightenment, exploration, growth, feeling called, okay? They're feeling called to release heavy burdens, but that's like the most challenging thing to do sometimes. So they're really feeling the weight of this. What else are they dying to tell you? They're, they're dying to tell you that they know that you are always connected in the higher dimensions. So that's from within yourselves, okay? Within the heart space, within the mind, like the telepathic mind. There's 
pure communication going on telepathically. It says a picture speaks a thousand words. Mind reading, intimacy, reading each other's feelings, and it's intense. So your person is definitely wanting to communicate things with you telepathically as well, as well as them just feeling you're both like together and at one in the, in the high dimension. So we'll look in a minute at some messages cards to see what they're communicating telepathically. Let we have false mask. So self protection, mind conditioning, social matrix, mind identity, childhood wounds, fears of rejection, conformity, and feeling lonely inside. They want you to really see deeply into them, like beyond their masks. They want you to know that sometimes they feel this regret because when they see you this fight flight or freeze happens and it causes the mask to go up almost like automatically because we're so conditioned in this earth plane to have these false masks to the point where we don't consciously know we're doing it light bulb so sudden epiphanies answers guidance aha moments falls into place, knowing feelings accompany their insights. So, yeah, I feel like they're seeing something clearly that they couldn't before, maybe having some sort of regret because they couldn't see something as clearly as what they do now. So let's look at some messages cards. What are they communicating to you telepathically? You are always with me. So, yeah, this is... That telepathy you feel in at one with each other in the heart space. What are they communicating to you? I love how you cherish me. They have so much gratitude to you. And they really, really want you to know that. How grateful they are. At the bottom of the deck we have I miss you so much. So they really want you to know that, but their mask in some sort of way may be not showing that, but they want you to know that they miss you so much. I want you to be so proud of me. So they may be having some sort of regret because they couldn't see something clearly in the past, but now they can. Um, and they, they just want you to be so proud of them. Let's look at another deck. What are they dying to tell you? You are my soulmate, the Six of Cups. You are always with me. It's like they, they feel this reunion on that heart level. This is twin flame card here, soulmate. They want they really want you to know that they experience all of this, okay? They love you deeply. But they just they know you're both on a journey to release anything that's out of alignment with their true self. I'm offering you something real. So this is planting the seeds. Like Ace of Pentacles, it's like doing the healing work. It's like their higher self grounding. And they, they're offering you something real. They want something real. They feel this is real love. This is reality beyond social matrix illusions. Wow, we have the lover's card. This is the love of a lifetime. They miss you so much. They know, they want you to know that there is transformation happening. And you are my biggest wish, the Nine of Cups. They really want you to know that. But they may have some difficulties showing you that 
or they may deny that sometimes that you are their biggest wish and that they miss you so much so I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading we're going to look even deeper into what are they dying to tell you about their feelings you know what kind of explanation do they want to give you if you know they want to explain something about what's really going on with them what are they really wanting you to know right now? We're going to look into lots of messages cards for that. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So I really hope to see you over there. If this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, share it and subscribe. That all really helps me out. Thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended. Welcome to set of cards number four. You've chosen the missing you card. So this is what is your person dying to tell you? What do they really need you to know right now? If you'd like to know even more in depth how your person is truly feeling about you, please check out the Dear Beloved Love Letter readings. Those are about a thousand words in length. They're eleven dollars, eleven cents. That's US dollars, and they look really deeply into your person's true feelings for you right now, what they want to say to you, and what they really want to happen between you both. So the details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So what is your person dying to tell you? What do they really need you to know right now? We have judgment. The ten of cups. The Seven of Swords, and the Magician. So this per this person, they really want you to know that they feel this immense soul calling, this immense pull towards you, towards the divine. The Ten of Cups is your union, but also union with the soul family. This is a very transcendental experience, um, extremely profound experience for your person. They feel that you're always at one um, in the heart space, uh, in your true selves, like they recognize you from... Um, heaven they recognize you from the fifth dimension and beyond and it's amazing and they feel this powerful pull towards this this powerful magnetism like they know that this is their soul um driving them towards so much healing um ascending struggles in this lifetime um, they're coming into their personal empowerment with the magician, their strength. It's like they're remembering uh, who they really are. Uh, many of you are light workers in this profound union, and this union is amplifying all of that. They know that this is a path of self mastery with the magician as well. It's number one. They feel this oneness, the infinite. Um, this is so like mind-blowing and incredible um seven of swords though i feel like there's definitely some sort of obstacles or struggles or difficulties shadow okay this is normal this soul calling is to call you both out of shadow so you know it makes sense that if there is shadow there always is as humans so in some cases, this could be that they're in another relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that. But there's there's some sort of difficulties here, some sort of karmic energy or shadow, but they're, they're thinking about you like all the time, okay? Um, so let's look at some of the messages from the heart cards. They just, they want you to know, well, I feel this person's just connecting with you energetically. They don't have to consciously do that. They just naturally feel you're connected. So they feel that intimacy. They feel that joy. 
But what are they dying to tell you? We have risk taking. Wow. Look, this person's rising up. Then we have a similar energy. This is like the full card, the leap of faith. They feel free with you. They're, they're coming into courage. They are coming into confidence. They are diving deep, immersing in this amazing connection and spiritual experience. It says taking a leap of faith, trusting the divine, trusting their intuition, taking action against your odds, courage, going for it. They feel free and it's truly like fulfilling, like they feel held by this love. It fills them up and just makes them transformed into so much peace. We have karmic. Okay, it's interesting because of the imagery of this card. It's like they may have... A family they may have a, a relationship like in a 3d but to me this is like the soul family they feel like your soul family or they feel like you have yeah like you have this family in the higher realms or, or they can remember um, past lives but yeah it says karmic or this can be karma in general Tough lessons, codependency, comfort zone, temptation, not being true to self, avoiding shadow work, stuck and depressed. Lock and key. They want you to know that you are like the key that's unlocked their heart. So they feel they feel very repressed okay look there's the lock and the key and there's the handcuffs here they're feeling restrained they want you to know that they felt very restrained in their life in general they want you to know that it's just karma that's like really holding them back and that's not like a choice really that's a journey so, but over time um there's this liberation that's happening for both of you from karma. This is the divine calling you back into personal empowerment and liberation. This person, they feel that you're both a perfect fit to open each other's hearts. They know this is a divine union, your soulmates or twin flames. This is like a bond of like true love, a destined relationship. They want you to know they feel this intense desire. They're fantasizing about you. They feel very passionate. It says obsession, lust, wanting to make love. Intense sexual chemistry as well. What are they really experiencing? Heart union, okay? They feel this true love for you. They feel this oneness in the higher dimension and that's through their heart through your hearts okay the heart is that um doorway into the divine into your intuition into your higher selves your one heart it's that stargate they feel safe within this love that you share okay so if there's struggles or difficulties or karma shadow happening for them they feel like this love is this safe sanctuary created by you both and the divine for this intense healing portal to the higher dimensions bliss oneness infinity feeling held soul family gateway yeah their heart they're really feeling this in their heart and soul yeah look soul family um Origins, you know, they're remembering who they truly are. They they feel you are as one. You are this family, but it says karmic. This it's like in the three D. You have other soul agreements to learn from because we come here for learning. 
but they feel a sense of true belonging with you. You are so loved. They feel so loved. They know that this is the divine support, that this is true unconditional love. It brings them so much peace, a feeling of celebration. They experience a lot of guidance through the soul family and you. They feel deeply understood by you. You feel at home. We have sexual union. So this is that energetic union, that tantric um, spiritual oneness, your soul's mating. Uh, they feel this excitement, this electricity, so much chemistry with you. It says intimacy, fantasies, heart on, which means feeling turned on by love. And the merging of chakras. ego death so yeah this connection it's intense the power of love shines the light upon anything that is illusion you know shadow cannot survive with the light the light turns it into the light it illuminates it that's what's happening but it's very intense it says it's terrifying the person's feeling terrified at times it's creating chaos it's a mind-blowing experience okay what feels so surreal they know is actually the true reality. So that's sort of hard to wrap your head around sometimes. They, they can feel disoriented, holding on. They're trying to surrender the ego because it makes them feel freedom. There's a lot of awakening. This is a truly eye-opening experience for your person. So let's look into some messages cards. What are they dying to tell you right now? I'm talking to you with my mind. There's a lot of telepathy, okay? This is feeling so deeply connected energetically through the third eye, that telepathy, and through the heart space. You are always with me, yeah. In that heart space, the soul family, the higher realms. They feel like you are always together with um, when you're in these other dimensions, other lifetimes. There's a part of you that's always together, the true self. So we have, I have so much fear right now. And this is definitely to do with them feeling so connected with you. But there's some sort of karma or another relationship they're in or something like that. That creates fear. And then feeling all over the place because of this ego death, okay? That's also what they're feeling very fearful about. So I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to look even deeper into what they're dying to tell you. What do they really need you to know about what's going on with them? I'm going to look into these fears and they're feeling all over the place a bit more as well. I'm going to look into lots of messages, cards, and really interpret the energy to see what's really going on with this person and within your union. So the details for the extended are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comments. I really hope to see you over there. If this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, share it and subscribe. That all really helps me out. Thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended.